More accolades pouring for the Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly for the recent gains made by the ruling All Progressives Congress on the floor of the House. Applicants of federal government's end pass came in Lagos against Tom the premises of the Lagos State House of Assembly to protest non-payment of monthly stipends and delay in kickoff of the program in the state plus. House Committee on Health takes oversight function to hospitals in Surulere area of the state. We have details coming up. A warm welcome to you out there. We're glad to have you join us this week on another insightful package of Lagos Parliament. I am Abimbola Agbibi. Get closer to your legislators. See them in action as they deliberate on moving the state forward. Watch updates on weekly events, presentation of bills, passage of laws, adoption of resolutions, and many more. Also, get a chance to meet the lawmaker of the week and watch the legislators. Observe plenary in Yoruba language. Lagos Parliament, every Thursday, 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, 11 a.m. respectively on TVC News Nigeria and TVC Entertainment. Lagos Parliament, bringing the legislators closer to you. Welcome back. Now, it may have been six weeks since six People's Democratic Party lawmakers announced their defection from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress. But the feat, according to some lawmakers, should be attributed to the leadership of the House. Whom they say made conscious efforts to ensure that there is unity among the lawmakers irrespective of party affiliations. This leadership quality was celebrated by members of the House during one of its plenaries moments after the defection saga. The members of the minority party in the House of Assembly, five of them, depleting the strength of the minority party in this House of Assembly by five and increasing the strength of the majority party by five is a welcome gesture. And for which reason I also want to congratulate the Speaker of the House of Assembly, leading of the principal members and the entire members for showing love and affection to the members of the opposing party, which has really strengthened them and convinced them of the need to further come in fully and participate in the political engineering of the state. As the majority of the House of Assembly, I am happy that our, our rank has swollen and I welcome you most happily. Welcome. God bless you. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate every, from the right honorable speaker, the principal officers, and every member of this house for a wonderful job. Nobody convinced them. They saw the way they were being treated. They saw the, the comradeship in the house. And apart from what the department might be doing, I think um, I want to congratulate them. I want to say to them, they've always been loyal. And that's why we are today in this house. And it's clear to even to them, because one of their leaders in legal states, um, but the judge said a few days ago that what Akim Amode is doing in Lagos is impressed. So that simply shows that they know they don't have a party. Um, to the new members, I want to say congratulations. To every member of APC, to every member of the House, I want to say congratulations. To leadership of the party of APC, I want to say congratulations. And um, Mr. Speaker, whatever you have been doing, this is your, this is your day. Um, I know people want to tell me it is their day, but it is your day. You made this happen. You accommodated them. You made them feel wanted. You made them understand that you don't look at party. All that is important in the of the House. I'll say congratulations to you, Mr. Speaker. I'll say congratulations to every member. Thank you very much. Right, Honorable Speaker, sir. Uh, let me also start from where some of my colleagues have dwelt 
by commending your style of leadership, unbiased, non-discriminatory, and very accommodating. These are the features that have seen us thus far, and that is making us to witness another feather to your cap. I want to join in congratulating Mr. Speaker for what we are reaping today as a house, as an attestation to your good leadership quality. Uh, you have, even to our bewilderment before now, embraced all members, especially as regards the PDP members. Some of us were at a loss as to why you were doing it, when you were doing it, because if I have to be sincere, that was our view. Or oh, that was personally my view. But today, we are all reaping uh, the benefit of your gesture. We all learn every day. I want to say that as an individual, I have learned something significant from you, even as a politician of no mean report. Uh, I'm sorry for the immodesty, but I need, I, I need to mention it that I have learned something from you. Mr. Speaker, sir, I congratulate you, sir. Because anybody who mirrors the house today will observe that our colleagues were encouraged to come into our party because of your exemplary leadership qualities. Your intuitiveness, your ingenuity, your sagacity, your fraternity and responsibility in all the leadership styles and qualities that you exhibit and epitomize have been responsible for the peace and tranquility of the House of Assembly. And I was not surprised when we received a letter just yesterday from a United Nations affiliate awarding you the Ambassador of Peace in Africa. I will talk about that later, sir. Everybody from all walks of life, both friends and foes alike, are mutually agreeable that you have the real qualities of a good leader. I agree to you, sir. Mr. Figa, I am very happy to congratulate you for your dogged, doggedness, for what you stood for and what you are standing for. You are a man. In fact, you are an, an epitome of humility, a man that embraces all. As far as I'm personally concerned, the speaker speaking on behalf of the 40 constraints in this Lagos state, I doff my cap for your courage, your style of having to win five people. I would rather want to use the word secretly out of um, a great number of eight. I sincerely must say this as an origin of the state that I really appreciate your style of leadership and also all the principal officers that have assisted in your great administration. I commend you as well because without you, these um, achievements won't be possible. It cannot be done alone. It's not about the speaker alone. It's all our collective efforts, our collective responsibilities, and what we have collectively done together to continue to float the integrity of this house. I thank you all. Uh, it does not matter the party you belong to. Uh, when they were in PDP, and those who are still in PDP, and uh, some of us in APC, we have resolved to put before us the people of Lagos are Lagos, and that we've been doing, and that I'm assuring you will continue to do. Some aggrieved youths who have applied for the federal government's end power program in Lagos against stormed the premises of the Lagos State House of Assembly recently to protest non payment of their stipends for the month of December 2016 and January this year. They are worried about the delay in the takeoff of the program in Lagos, which had since commenced in some other states of the country. 
We have been selected since November last year and we are supposed to have started work and be paid by December. But yet, Lagos State have not done anything. We have not been paid. Though the Lagos State are not to pay, but they are to forward our name down to the federal government so that we can, be get, we can get paid. We are here because other states have been paid, or Shun or Yo, at least that's what I am. Those are the Ogun states. Those are the people I know about. Ogun states, or Yo, and other states have been paid. All Southwest states have been paid, except Lagos. And we've known Lagos to be in front of all states, forefront. I don't know why we are, we are being delayed. Uh, on behalf of Mr. Speaker, which, who is not around, is not around today, um, we are here to represent him. The other time you came, he addressed you here. I was there as well. That was when the issue of verification was was on and we spoke we, we intervened and we, we were verified yes. okay. now today as you've come in we've called the ministry we've spoken with the commissioner for wapa and we have been assured that your names have been sent ten thousand seven hundred names thank you they said there was one backlog of about three thousand or something like that but they have sent it as we speak she's sending a director here now because i said you are here director should come here and address you yes. by themselves. So you, you see, the other time I mentioned to you that we will act immediately. Yes. We are already acting. Yes. Like we said, it is our job. It is your right to be here yes. and for us to address it. Yes. We don't see why, like Honorable BC said, we don't see why Lagos State should be just changed. And now three months has passed yes. and yet yes. you, you have not even been engaged. And it is not just the money. I know you are not yet because of the money. Yes. Yes. You want, you want to contribute your own quota to the system, gain the experience and move forward. So let's just exercise some patience. We don't mind, I'll stay with you. We'll stay with you in the sun. So that when the director comes, we will have it to get another level of information. We have 11,000 beneficiaries in Lagos State. Unlike the other states you are talking about, they have only 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And you cannot compare Lagos State with those states. So we finished the verification now. What we are now doing now is the deployment to various sectors. Some of you that took, you know, teaching, you are going to be deployed to Suburb. Primary schools that is very close to your house. We are looking at the address. We don't want to post you to a place where you will be spending 500 naira, 1,000 naira to take, to, you know, for public transport. Same thing goes with the people with health and same thing goes with agro. We need to really sit down and we don't want to do any shady job for you people because others say that you are talking about, they have their own challenges too. They have so many problems there, and we've learned our lesson. We don't want that to happen in Lagos State. That was why we're taking our time. We're going to put all these things into records. We're going to put them into the computer. We understand what you are going to, but we don't want to have any problem. We don't want to do something that we will send to Abuja again. You will not collect your stipend. You are going to collect your stipend. Meanwhile, the Chairman House Committee on Health Services, Honorable Lusheng Ululadi, recently led his team on an inspection tour. This time, it's some hospitals in Surulere area of Lagos. As part of its oversight functions, the committee took a tour of the health facilities as well as checked on some of the patients in the various wards to know how they're faring. Let's see what their findings were at the store. If there is any other thing you want to talk to us about, we would. But if there is none, I just want to continue to appeal to us. Okay, you want to say something else? Yeah. When I have my phone, they report CS. And in the, in the, yeah, the room of the CS, those that have their baby there, the nurses there are at the same time, they don't depend on the shooting. They don't, as in, the baby will be crying. They'll tell you that you are in the face. They'll tell you, you can't carry your baby. You are not so baby. They will not even want to show love as you for that person who is in that condition. I, I should let them uh, adopt on that character that is very bad. Okay, so moving forward, what are the kind of what are the actions you're going to take? Because for me, from my own assessment, there were complaints of um, drugs that are too expensive. There were complaints of inadequate um, med uh, medical facilities. There were complaints of not enough doctors. 
So I don't know if you've added up this complaint and is there any action we'll be expecting from the state yeah. government or the House of Assembly? Yeah, we, we have done what is expected of us to do. We are taking stock and uh, you see uh, there are some doctors that are moving in and some are going in. And um, in terms of the personnel, I can assure you that uh, this year budget I've already taken care of some of the things. And uh, as I talk to you, a lot of people have been engaged this year as uh, medical personnel. Uh, you know, we have so many facilities and they are going to be sent across the state. So I expect that uh, uh, those shortages they are seeing might be a thing for length training. Very soon, uh, we will not see any of such again. The program is still Lagos Parliament. Welcome to the personality interview segment. And on the program this week, we have the pleasure of introducing to you the lawmaker representing Surulere Constituency 2 in the Lagos State House of Assembly, a former member of the People's Democratic Party, until her defection to the ruling All Progressives Congress, she was the minority whip of the Lagos State House of Assembly, Honorable Musumola Shogodara. Let's go on this time out, and when we come back, you will be meeting my guests.